Well, any class that calls itself right like Mozart would be remiss if it did not deal with one of the most typical kinds of patterns that is found in the late 18th century. And that's what we call the Alberti base. Now, although we haven't talked about the Alberti base, we've been sort of preparing for it. That is, even back in week two, we were already working with patterns, taking rhythms and applying them to um, harmonic progressions to create accompaniment patterns, for instance. Week three, we applied patterns to create sequential progressions that would end up being polyphonic passages. Well, the Alberti bass is basically the same thing. There are a couple of things to recognize, though, about Alberti bass. In its most classic form, it would be at the speed of an eighth note, usually something like an eighth note or sixteenth note, but that has a lot to do with the tempo. It's got a kind of moderate pace, um, and we usually find it sort of in this upper region of the, um, of the bass clef, sort of around middle C, let's say, a little bit below. That would be a common place to find it. You could find it up further, but you generally don't find it way down here. It's too muddy and too high, well, you, or much higher, you, you might find, but not very frequently. And all you do is this. It's an extremely, in its most classic form, it's an extremely simple pattern. You take the lowest note, you take the highest note, you take the middle note, and you go back to the highest note, and that's it. And you repeat that thing for as long as the harmonic rhythm exists. In this case, we've got four beats. This only takes two beats, so we, we repeat it once. And then we just do the same thing here. Just do that. Then we get this same thing here. And there you have it. Let me play this. Okay. There you have it. That's the classic example of Alberti bass. This pattern, though, you don't really need to keep. It should never be very complicated, but you don't have to go lowest, highest, middle, highest like that. And notice it usually only involves three notes. So there are a couple things to keep in mind. First, so what does stay the same? So let me go down here and like, outline the things that, even if you want to change the pattern, what you shouldn't change. One, you shouldn't change starting with the lowest note. Always start with the lowest note. Um, that is extremely common. Two, always use three notes. Even if you're dealing with four note chords, just use three of them. Uh, in most cases, that would be the the root, the third, and the seventh, but it depends. If you have an inversion and that inversion requires the fifth and the bass, then the fifth is all of a sudden more important than maybe the, the third. So, But always use three notes. Also, always use chord tones. You might find places where you don't use this, and there are actually patterns that that don't. It's hard to argue that they're Alberti bass lines, um, but but you will find patterns that might use a that that will look like Alberti bass lines, but or Alberti figures, 
and they use non-chord tones. So when it comes to using this Alberti bass, you always want to use chord tones. So, so what is free then? Is it, well, that basically sounds like, I mean, there's not much to work with, right? Yeah, there, there really isn't. But if we were to go back and redo this, for instance, you could go, whoops. Something like this instead. Um, I want to do that. You could do something like this. Let me play this. You might do that. Or, actually, I just redo the whole thing. could potentially do this. So you see that these, you know, there isn't much difference between this one and the, if I scroll up, this first example. But there are some small differences and you'll find that, that um, someone like Mozart wouldn't just use this kind of common figure. He'd, he'd alter it a little bit to suit his needs compositionally. But nonetheless, to give you a guideline on what you can and can't do, and there are a lot of restrictions with this, please make sure that you follow these, these three points if you do decide to venture off of the really classic pattern of the Alberti bass.